Meh. Untrained state, folks. What up, folks? Hasn't that been a long time? Yes, it has been. The reason for my absence, if you will, from the YouTube channel, uh, very simple. Because of all the COVIDs that had been going on for the last two years, you know, it didn't make sense uh, for me to make uh, gym videos and stuff like that because the gyms were closed. That's the main reason, folks. You know, and now they are being open again, consistently being open, and I just was a little bit hesitating. Will this stay open? I sure do still not know, but we'll see. We'll give it a try, shall we? So that's the reason why we are going to start filming again. We have been on a vacation. I have become sick. I still am today a little bit for one week, so therefore I have not trained for a pretty long time, for about a month right now. Uh, and my weight has been dropping from approximately 83 kilograms down to 79. So the body you're going to see eventually is at its most shitty form. No training, no muscles that are popping. We gotta do measurements around the circumstances of the uh, all the, uh, the the left arm the the right upper arm you know I just wanted to uh, keep track of things like how much do I fall back and how long does it take before I'm going to get back up again and keep that in track all right um, with that being said folks let's uh, see how it looks see how we recover the weeks to come the measurement. Let's go. Meh. Let's see, folks. The left arm. Forty and a half. Small, but it's not that small. Forty-one and a half. It's a difference between left and right of one centimeters, yes. 107 and a half. The legs that have not been trained for quite some time. Let's take a look, shall we? 59 and a half, 59 and a half. So the left and the right leg are the same at this point. That's not good. That needs to be trained hardcore again let's take a look at the calf do the nine and a half folks so yeah um, as I'm filming this right now why is this so dark let's get into the Sun as I'm filming this right now folks um, guess what I have the big deal you know this thing <laughs> yeah 
But hey, feeling great. I have no symptoms at all. However, the family do have symptoms and I do not. Hmm. Probably because I'm drinking a lot, which is good. Um, I wanted to do a measurement again to see where we are at this particular point. Um, we are approximately three weeks after the first measurement and haven't trained at all. And you, you probably noticed that I have different clothing in the last six months. Things has changed, you know, because of the lockdowns, you know, I started golf, which is, you know, a sport that I pretty much love to play. We got the Callaway caps, we got the Adidas polos, which by the way, fit amazing. These polos are phenomenal. Perfect for bodybuilders. So if you're a fitness guy and you want good quality stuff, get golf polos, they fit amazing. So with that being said, folks, I want to do another measurement. 24th of March, was the point that I was measuring, uh, the point that I was measuring um, from being sick, you know, I was on the vacation, uh, catch the cold, you know, and now got the COVID. Yes, tested positive. But hey, I'm doing fine, so no worries. That's from all the hard work, taking care of my body, perhaps. And I wanted to do another measurement. We're now three weeks after you know, the last measurement. And uh, yeah, I have been training in the gym. Today, I've not trained, um, played some golf, and that was it. Um, so let's take some notes. We'll do the measurement and see what we can find. We had 24th of March, then we would have a second measurement on 24th of April. Eventually, it's the 16th, which is like, yeah, I did it good. 22. We're gonna do an in-between measurement and see what it looks like. I had a big fat meal by the way, but yeah, it was something like a kilogram plate of Japanese rice. But hey, although it's the golden hour in terms of light and the sun, come on folks. You can't lie about this. I think it looks pretty good, but hey, that's just my way of looking. This looks freaking amazing. I guess it's the light that is influencing this right now. About three weeks of trading. Get into it right now. I was secretly trying to get a pump to influence the numbers. No, just kidding. All right, folks. Left up arm was 40 half centimeters. Flexed at 40 and half. Still. 41. I don't know why, but this is going down. Today's weight, by the way, previous time was 79 kilograms. Right now it's 79.6. This morning, chest, last time 107.5. Let's see. In my belief, I'm a, I'm a little bit more um, 
shredded than it was last time. I can see it in the gym as well. And the very first time when I was doing the measurement, I was a little bit fluffy. So could be that the recompositioning is real. This marks 113 and a half. Uh, that would have been a big increase. That's that's not possible. Last time was 107 and a half. I don't know where this has gone wrong. But this is 114. Maybe the gains in the back and the chest. But I don't think that's a six and a half centimeter increase. That would be a little bit crazy. 107 and a half. 107 and a half. Yes. Uh, left high. So that marks the second measurement and I don't know what to think about it. I'm a little bit flat, um, 40 half, 40 half, same for the arms. Um, yeah, chest increased like crazy, which probably is just a bad measurement. But uh, after three weeks, we can't see a big change. However, what I do see in the mirror is, even though I'm a little bit heavier, the composition is better. And uh, I see way more details than I saw in the very beginning, which was a little mask at 79 kilograms. So at 79 kilograms, there probably would have been less muscle than there would be at this particular point. Um, but the circumstance, you know, uh, stayed the same. So I'm not shocked. I'm not disappointed at all, you know, why should I? Um, because I know there is a recomposition phase going on now at this point. I've never been so freaking weak in the gym, it's ridiculous. Um, from the last time that I was becoming sick, like a month ago, before that two weeks of being sick, I did not train for two weeks, so there was a month nothing, but normally one month doing nothing um, would not impact a lot on uh, the training itself inside the gym. However, this time was uh, totally different. This time, um, to give you an idea, going from 140 kilogram bench press again, down to 120 kilograms, not even pushing out five reps, that's significant loss of strength. So, um, with all the exercises, I've never been so weak. Uh, these numbers that I'm getting in now, I have not seen for a very long time. Uh, and I know they will be coming back very fast. Um, but it was something that uh, I had to deal with. Something that, uh, you know, came as a shock, but I knew that everything's gonna be all right. So, without further ado, folks, we're now uh, almost one month inside the gym again. This is gonna take me a, a pretty good deal amount of time to get back to the old conditions. Um, now with Chloe, you know, our second child, uh, our daughter, um, work, everything that comes around, I have decreased the amount of time that I'm spending inside the gym from six days normally to five days to make it more, you know, palatable in my agenda. So. We got an upper day, we got a lower day, we got a push-pull and uh, a second lower day. We got two lower days instead of the three that I had before. I had a glute day in the middle of the week, uh, but now there are just two days and I, you know, 
intertwined a little bit the glute exercises in those two leg training days. So yeah, that's a little bit uh, you know, how I'm planning uh, to uh, go forward from this point on. We have a long road to go. And a lot of people asking me, yo, when are you going to step back on stage? <laughs> First, um, for me to come back at old levels, I guess it's going to take me at least a half year. So we are now then coming near the end of this year and uh, going into next year. And so the competitions will be in the end of next year. If I want to do a good season, if I want to do a second documentary, it needs to be a good season and it needs to be, you know, something that's going to shock the people in terms of the physique and all the things that come with it. Uh, but I know it's going to take me six months to come back to all levels. Um, I know there is going to be a good prep before that, all that, and that the competitions will be somewhere in the third fourth quarter of next year so you know this is uh, the time frame we are looking at um, from from where I see because I have to travel and travel becomes uh, a, a hassle as you all have known uh, during the last couple of months years for now and I don't know what the future will bring um, but the travels restrictions you know need to be uh, at a point that I can travel um, otherwise competing is not in the agenda it's simple as it is uh, and I do want to make the documentary believe it or not uh, and I'm not gonna shortcut things you know then uh, maybe people are saying yeah why you are not going to compete in a country in the in Europe to make the documentary you know no that's that's not the plan i'm not sure cutting this at all folks that's the reason why it's taking a lot of time now um, because i have a plan for documentary number two it needs to be of a certain level of a certain quality it needs to be the whole road to the usa and everything that comes with it it's the whole journey. The first documentary was about the last three days or so, uh, but this one is going to be of a significant amount of time. So everything needs to be planned for. Um, so now you understand there's a lot of preparation for that going on. With that being said, folks, I appreciate it. You are watching again. And let's hope everything stays the way it is. And uh, let's work to the competition. Let's get it on. Thank you for watching. Give a thumbs up, like, and yeah. You probably, if you're watching, you're already subscribed, so it doesn't make sense to say subscribe. With that being said, folks, thank you very much. Cheers, on to the next one. Boom, boom.